Hello and welcome to Watch Me Movie. My name is Ryan and today we are watching Schindler's List for the first time. I'm aware that it is um, set in World War II era and I think it uh, revolves around the Holocaust in some way. There is one clip of this film that I have seen um, but I don't remember the context of the clip at all. When I first started university they set as a task um, to do with lighting and we had to choose one of three films and mimic the lighting setup of that film and make our own film we were meant to go and watch whichever film we chose and mimic the lighting setups but i think we just watched this one clip i think it was in a restaurant i'm not sure what was happening i'm pretty sure we even watched it when it was muted we just took note of the lighting setup in that scene and just mimicked that in our own film a few people in the comments have warned me that this is a tearjerker and a heartbreaking film. So going into it, I will admit I'm looking forward to looking at the um, filmmaking aspects of it and how, how well it's shot and all that sort of thing. But I am kind of dreading um, having my heart broken as well at the same time. Just before we jump right into this film, if you appreciate this reaction, then consider leaving a thumbs up on the video and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And with all that said, let's get into Schindler's List. So it's another Spielberg. He's going to break my heart, isn't he? Again. I'm actually nervous about it. That was really nicely done. Joseph Klein. Klein. Wow, it's strange to see a Spielberg film like this. It's like, um, it reminds me of, like Bicycle Thieves or, or something like that. God, every shot is beautiful. Oh my God. This is one of my favorite pieces of music of all time. Ho Una Cabeza. Is that even the right title? I can't remember, but this is... Mm. Yeah, this with a strong backlight, with that hair light on his side of his head. I'm going to stop talking about the beautiful cinematography, the amazing soundtrack so far, just how every shot is perfect. I'm going to concentrate on the film now. But I am already sort of brimming with excitement watching this, just from a filmmaking point of view. You can say they are from me. From the gentleman. Stay at the table in a place like this a lovely fragrance you're breaking my heart an extra chair please i am just in awe at this film already every composition look at that i'm starting to really see why they told us to watch this film for lighting oh my god look at that frame as well who is that man that's Oscar Schindler. It's like Citizen Kane. <laughs> my God. Oh my God. Just assume that every single... Hold on. Just assume that every single shot I am absolutely fawning over inside. It saves me saying it. It's pointless. They come into our house and tell us we don't live there anymore. I'm looking for Itzhak Stern. Where can we talk? I'm sorry, but these crowd compositions are just unbelievable. These frames. I know nothing about enamelware. Do you? I was just the accountant. You can make a fortune, don't you think? I'm sure you'll do just fine once you get the contracts. In fact, the worse things get, the better you'll do. You must have contacts in the Jewish business community working here. If you want, you could run the company for me. But what if you don't mind my asking, would you do? 
not the work, not the work. The presentation. You asked for shoe polish. In metal containers. Metal this containers. is glass. It's not what I asked for. Hello. Pardon me for interfering, but that's a nice shirt. We're here to pray. How many? I completely see why everyone's been recommending this for a filmmaker. Humans are just repulsive. It could not be better. It could be worse. He is using a lot of the old te montage techniques. Like the parallel, this is like a parallel action montage to show the contrast between the two lives. This is a really surprising film. From I, I did not expect Spielberg to come out with something like this. Yeah, I mean, you associate Spielberg with like modern day blockbusters. Is him offering that little bit of drink to him? And him refusing all the time, like him not giving in to temptation in a way or something. The standard SS rate for Jewish skilled laborers is seven marks a day. Five for unskilled and women. Are you listening? What was that about the SS? The Jewish worker's salary. You pay it directly to the SS, not to the worker. He gets nothing. You have to leave the line now, and then you'll get a blue card, a blow shine, to say that you are an essential worker. I'm not essential. I think you misunderstand the meaning of the word. I teach history and literature. How many times have I told you? I'm a metal polisher. Take the round, she's a fit. Filing, filling, keeping track of my appointments, shorthand, typing, obviously. I'm completely in awe of this film. I don't know if you've got that. I don't know if it's come across. <laughs> you need a secretary, pick one. They're also. Qualified. <laughs> Caviar. I need several boxes of Cuban cigars. Yes. The best. And oh, try to find nylon stockings. And looking forward to a long and mutually prosperous association, Oscar Schindler. <laughs> Just pretend, for Christ's sake. Is that all? I'm saying I couldn't have done this without you. You're welcome. She's so embarrassed to look at us. Be careful of the step, miss. Mrs. Schindler, Marek. 350 workers on the factory floor with one purpose. To make money. For me. Two steamer trucks full of money. I'm really enjoying Nason's performance. Promise me, Oscar, no tall man or maitre d' will ever presume I'm anyone other than Mrs. Schindler. And I'll stay. Hi, darling. There is a machinist outside. would like to thank you personally for giving him a job. It will just take a minute. God bless you, sir. You're a good man. He saved my life. Yes, he did. Don't, Don't ever do that to me again. Go. What's his use? Very useful. Success. And bless that guy. Man. To them, it's a matter of um, national priority that Jews be made to shove it snow. Come with me. I am an essential worker. Essential worker for Oscar uh, Schindler. Oh. I expect to be compensated. A one armed machinist. Your luggage on the platform. God. I'm sorry, you can't have him. He's on the list. You'll both be in southern Russia before the end of the month. Stern! Stern! <laughs> Helping now. Stern! Sir. 
Uh. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. What if I got here five minutes later? Jesus. One of you is a very lucky girl. Which of you has um, a domestic experience? Yeah. Oh, no! The entire foundation has to be torn down and re -poured. Educated Jew, like Karl Marx himself. It's such a masterful filmmaking when you have a shot so big with so many people in it. Shoot her. Ugh. And your eye knows exactly where to look. Shoot her! Here, on my authority. It will take more than that. I'm sure you're right. Ugh. Rebuild it, like she said. For six centuries, there has been a Jewish placard. Today is history. We're getting out through the sewers. I have to check if they're clear. I told you I won't go in the sewers. Your you! How could you ever forget it, man? That line! Stand No! <sighs> Cyanide or something. <sighs> Just let you drink your inside. Oh my god. Women to the left! Not enough room for you. What are you talking about? <coughs> oh, I can fit the girl, but not you. I've been given orders to clear the bundles from the road. <laughs> Smart guy. Mrs. Dresner? Yes. Please, hide. Please. Please. Me. I will put you in the good line. I'm sorry, I feel like I've just been silent for about 40 minutes while that all just unfolded. so jarring to see that little bit of colouring. It's so weird. Start foreshadowing him being arrested. The worst is over. We are workers now.
how do you comment on stuff like this, like the subject matter? <clears throat> no, 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 sit, sit, Julian, how are you? We started without you. Fine. I miss anything good. I go to work the other day. Nobody's there. Everybody's gone. They're here. They're mine! Things are good. You don't want anybody telling you what to do. Your own sub camp. I've been through it, you know, I know. You could make things easier for me. I was trying to figure the meaning behind that camera shot um, pushing in at that moment, framing them closer together. Maybe it was them coming to an agreement. Like with the whole history and the subject matter, to us nowadays, I think because it is so atrocious, it's easy to separate yourself quite a bit from it. It doesn't seem like it's possible that it could be real, this sort of evil. He wants his independence. I gave it to him. Don't forget who you are working for now. It's just crazy how the Nazis even became to be so big. Like, I know there's a whole thing of when you're following orders, you're following orders, and mob mentality. It's like that experiment with the prisoners and the guards. Thank you, Herr Director. That a person can be dri driven to do all sorts of things when given a taste of power. It's just such a weird thought that all those people went along with it. I couldn't get you out of here. Be all right. Put these in your pocket. Come on. Herr Director, don't let things fall apart. I work too hard. What are you making? I've got some workers coming in tomorrow. Make me a hinge. Oh, that's very good. Yet, such a small pile of hinges. Because the machines were being recalibrated this morning. This guy's protected. <laughs> oh, strange. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Tell him about a man the walks around with a chicken and nobody Tell notices. You. Yeah. Him. Clever kid. After this and Saving Private Rain, Spielberg is very gruesome with those practical blood effects. I promise to learn everything there is to know about enameler production. That's great. It's a beautiful shot. The golden triangle wave for a minute. Where you cut it diagonally across the screen. He wants you. Please, sit down. They say your factory is a haven. Who says that? My parents are in Brasov. I'm begging you. Please bring them here. Try and I will have you arrested. I swear to God. <laughs> Send them over to Schindler. His place is a haven, didn't you know? It's dangerous to me. Good. Lined up everybody from the missing command's barracks. He shot the man to the left of Bielski. He walked down the line shooting every other man with a pistol. What do you want me to do about it? Nothing, nothing. Well, man. Husband and wife. Have Goldberg bring them over. Schindler's character is really good because he's complex in the way he comes across. He wants to make out like he's doing it all for the economics and the business of it. Really, he wants to do the right thing, and that's just masking his fear of getting caught, I think. Did that for her. I'm Schindler. My first day here, he beat me because I threw out the bones from dinner. 
said to him, why are you beating me? It's because you ask why I beat you. One day you will shoot me. No, 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 no. You can say to yourself, if I follow these rules, I will be safe. He won't shoot you because he enjoys you too much. It's all right. It's not that kind of a kiss. <laughs> She's really good. I was wrapped up in the in the, in the emotional part of the scene then, but it just showed how well you can light a person with like a single light. They just had one light above her. I think it's called paramount lighting or butterfly lighting because it leaves a little shadow under the nose here, but it really accentuates the cheekbones. <clears throat> it's good for lighting um, people with really feminine bone structure. It's beautiful. They fear us because we have the power to kill arbitrarily. It's not power, though. Power is when we have every justification to kill. And we don't. A man stole something, he's brought him before the Emperor. He knows he's going to die. And the Emperor pardons him. That is power. I pardon you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. Shinta got through to him a bit then. Oh, is that just, just directing me? She was smoking on the jump. Don't tell her not to do it again. Guess he did get through to him. Yeah, I'm going to say that and then he's going to do something terrible. I've been unable to remove the stains from your bathtub. Go ahead, go and leave. Leave, I pardon you. Pardoning everybody today. from me. Yeah, yes, you're right. Sometimes we're both lonely. <sighs> this is horrible. No, no, you, you make a good point. Is this the face of a rat? Performance is in this. There's lots of this parallel action montage in this. Especially when it when it comes to um, portraying Schindler's life against the other Jewish people. I wish for you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Is this not really dangerous in front of all those people? I say people. What is it doing? The people were driven out with clubs and then they were made to undress. They shaved their hair. SS gave them soap. And then they gassed them. I cannot believe it. I didn't say I believed it, I said I heard it. We're their workforce. What sense does it make to kill your own workforce? We are very, very important for them. They've got to separate the sick from the healthy. Have to make room. Oh, 
I know anyone who's a parent knows the same thing. Like, just to think about your kids getting driven away from you in the truck and not being able to do anything about it is just the worst possible thing to imagine. <laughs> do you say we get your fire hoses out here and hose down the cars? Indulge me. <laughs> It's so weird because he has to obviously manipulate the Nazis by pretending to be like going along with them. Every time the train stops, you open the doors, you give them water, yeah? yeah. Being too obvious about helping them, innit? All right, sure. It's a nice day. I'll go for a drive with you. SS come from. I kissed a Jewish girl. Is that what they've brought him in for? He likes good-looking women. <laughs> yeah, they, they love him. I mean, he's married. Yeah, but he's... <laughs> it's a matter of money. We give you Jewish girls at five marks a day, Oscar. We don't have a future. I thought it was because of him hosing down the carriages um, that that other guy had um, sort of grassed him up and that's why he got took in. But then that other guy ended up speaking up for him. Throughout the first part of this film, I was just sort of really geeking over the uh, over the cinematography and stuff in the filmmaking, but I have to find every rag, bury that here, and burn it. I was wondering why they highlighted the little girl. Is it just so I could identify her? What are you going to do? You ran my business. Some day, this is all going to end, you know. I was going to say we'll have a drink then. I think I better have it now. That's how you make little details in the earlier scenes pay off with a big emotional impact. Every piece of lighting setup is just so precise. My people, I want my people. Who are you, Moses? Doesn't make any sense. Look, um, look you're not telling me. It's something. good for me. Everybody's yeah. happy. Everyone's happy except me. <laughs> it's really interesting composition there as well. Yeah, all right. Don't tell me. I'll go along with it. And, uh, uh, Steger, Steger. All the children. 400, 450. More, more. Six hundred. More. No, Oscar, I can't do it anymore. I will not accept this. <laughs> Literally on his shoulder, his whole head. That's it. You can finish that page. What did Gert say about this? Did you... You're not buying them. Finish the page and leave one space at the bottom. More name I want to put there. I'll never find a maid as well trained as her at Brindit. You can't take her to Vienna with you. No, of course I can't. Just let her go, man. Yeah. We should take her into the woods and shoot her penis in the back of the head. 14,800. Yitzhak Stern. Yaakov Levertov. Adam Levin. Helena Hirsch. The train with the women has already left Poishov and will be arriving here very shortly. 
stunning shot. A hot soup and bread is waiting for you. What do you like? It's not going there. The train was never rooted here. A paperwork. Oh my god. I was gonna say how the hell did that happen? Did he betray him or what? A paperwork mistake. Why'd Spielberg have to mess with us like that? There's just no understanding. That guy just like smiling at the kid and pushing it along to where it knows where he knows it's gonna die and suffer. That's not just mob men mentality and it's just not it's just you just can't comprehend it. Why do you think I can help you? You shouldn't get stuck on names. Bell der Grün Hinder! Bell der Grün Leonora! Why is it taking the kids? Hey! What are you doing? Their fingers polish the insides of shell metal casings. unlawful to kill a worker without just cause. You go to prison, I get paid. There will be no interference of any kind. For your cooperation, you have my gratitude. Don't rock the boat, mate. No doorman or Mitre D will ever mistake you again. There's a rumor you've been going around miscalibrating the machines. And if this factory ever produces a shell that can actually be fired, I'd be very unhappy. <laughs> Rabbi! Is this Friday? It is Friday, isn't it? Is it? You should be preparing for the Sabbath. In my office. Come. Baruch Adoshem. Baruch Adoshem Elokeinu Melech Oilem. <laughs> the German war is therefore at an end. The unconditional surrender of Germany has just been announced. The war is over. Wow. Victims are being mourned throughout the world. Thank your fearless stern. And others among you who worried about you have faced death at every moment. At midnight, you'll be free, and I'll be hunted. I have to flee. Turn to your families as men instead of murderers. Thank you, Mr. Yere. Thank you, Mr. Yere. <laughs> this Hebrew from the Talmud, it says, whoever saves one life, saves the world entire. I could have got more up. Not as there are. Why did I keep the car? Ten people right there. This is gold. 
to Mokipur. It's like he maintained his composure that long when he had to in front of the Nazis and now that he doesn't have to, it's, it's like, I've got that relief. I saw someone talk about Kurosawa films before when they say the effect of big crowds is it multiplies the emotion when it ripples throughout the crowd. It really does work. Look at that. Good. Mrs. Schindler. Wow. It really made a difference. I had to take a minute to, um, to just compose myself a bit. I was contemplating like, turning everything off and going away for like an hour or so and, and then coming back and doing the wrap up but um, Spielberg really knows how to make you feel something <laughs> that's what I'm starting to realise um, this film was unbelievable it's, it's definitely one of the best films that I've ever seen in my life in terms of filmmaking the cinematography was completely perfect everything about it was perfect from the, from the lighting to the camera positioning, composition of the frame, everything was perfect. I think when I first started the film, I spent probably the first 20 or 30 minutes just completely fawning over every camera angle and camera move. Um, but we definitely got to a point there where um, my whole focus just shifted while watching the film and I was sucked in to the drama of it and the story that it was telling. And I think from that point onwards, I just sort of stopped talking. When he was making the list and um, the accountant realised that he was paying for it all out of his own money, his whole dream in life was to, well, what he said, what he told people, his whole dream in, his whole dream in life to was have enough for like two, two truck loads full of money. I think that's what he wanted, like to make truck loads full of money. And that was his whole goal. Oh, that's what he told people his whole goal was. And I think when when the accountant came to that realisation that he was going to use his entire fortune to um, help these people and put them on the list and, and basically buy them off the Nazis, that was a, re a really emotional moment. The performances of Liam Neeson and um, especially Ralph Fiennes as well. Ralph Fiennes is one of my favourite actors anyway. And I hated him in this. I love Ralph Fiennes, but I hated him in this. Liam Neeson, he really pulled his part off well, and there were some some points, some monologues and stuff like that during the film that was just astounding. I, I, can, I feel like I can only really um, comment on the technical side of things, which I have already done. Um, there's, there's not much I can say about it. I can't criticise anything about the, the technical side of things. It's, it's a, a masterpiece. It's one of the best films I've ever seen. It really reminded me of um, like Bicycle Thieves and also, um, I, I probably say it quite a bit, I always compare stuff to Kurosawa, but a lot of it was um, was reminding me of that. I like the parallel action montages that it kept showing. Um, it was sort of contrasting, it was contrasting Schindler's life with the life of the people that he was helping out and like how easy he had it compared to, you know, how terrible they did but yeah i feel like i could go on um about this film all day so i'll just chat to you in the comments about it 
um, otherwise I won't stop talking about this film. But yeah, this was a, a, a tough watch emotionally, and, um, but I'm really glad I've seen it now. It was such a beautiful film. So yeah, that's it. If you appreciated this reaction, then consider giving a thumbs up to the video and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. The links to the social media are in the description below as usual. And with all that said, all that's left to say is thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.